if Tuesday's IPO offering for Vietnamese EV maker VinFast is any guide, investors still have an appetite for EV startups backed by SPACs. Yesterday, the stock surged over 250% and gave it a market value greater than Ford and General Motors. Shares closed at roughly $37 on Tuesday, which gives VinFast a market value of over $86 billion. That is more than all U.S. EV startups combined. <laughs> it's crazy, crazy stuff. All the while trading should remind investors of what things were like at the start of the SPAC boom in 2020 when Nikola doubled just days after its SPAC merger closed. Now, one thing to note, VinFast delivered 11300 EVs in the first half of, of 2023. Give you a comparison, Bavarian delivered almost 21,000. VinFast is also selling EVs in the U.S. where people bought 740 VinFast VF8 SUVs in the second quarter. Now let's listen into this quick video from the CEO as she spoke to a CNBC commentator yesterday. Good morning, Carl. Let's bring in Leiti Tai Tu Hui, excuse me, from the NASDAQ market site, the CEO of VinFast. Uh, you've just started trading, Madam Tui, and I think the question a lot of people have is, why go public through a SPAC right now, and why not pursue a traditional IPO? Why did you do this through a SPAC? Thank you very much. Um, it's very exciting for us. We, we uh, achieve a big milestone today and get the company listed in, in the U.S. Uh, we, we were ready to do a traditional IPO. We, um, uh, we pursued the path for almost two years, but the markets uh, have been challenging. So we decided to decouple the listing from, uh, from the fundraising. We got the financial backing from our parents' company, um, and we, we went ahead with the listing uh, by way of SPAC. As you know, Madam Tui, uh, SPACs have really struggled in the last two years, especially EV-related SPACs. Um, what, it raises the question, is this a smart time to bring a SPAC to market? I know you want to raise funds for your expansion, but is this a smart time to do a SPAC? You saw how the market reacted when we opened today, Ray. I think, um, I think it's just a way for us to get, um, to get listed in the U.S. Um, we didn't think of the reputation of the SPAC. We, we probably change today with us, hopefully. You are building a plant in North Carolina where you expect to begin manufacturing uh, with your first models rolling out in 2025. Uh, how much will this be a challenge for you when you look at the U.S. market? It's the most competitive in the world. You had to look at this and say, we are, we're, we're taking on uh, the big boys here uh, if we think we can succeed in the uh, United States auto market. Uh, we don't look at it that way. We think, we think there's a huge potential in, in this market, and that's why we uh, make our investment in the manufacturing facility in North Carolina. Um, we, the whole world, and U.S. in particular, is also moving from internal combustion engine to, e, uh, to, um, to EVs. There's room for everybody. Uh, VinFast, with the full lineup of vehicles, from uh, small vehicles uh, to uh, full-size, uh, three rows SUVs. Uh, we have a vehicle, we have an EV for everybody. So we stay true to our mission of making EVs accessible to everyone. You want to make them accessible, but you know that there's price cutting going on within this industry right now. Can you succeed? Can you be profitable uh, given the price cutting and the price pressure that's going on, especially what's expected even more over the next couple of years with EVs here in the U.S.? Uh, we stay. Uh, we stay in course. Our um, uh, strategy. We um, uh, we always price our vehicles very competitively. Uh, but keep in mind also that our vehicles uh, come fully loaded with features, uh, more so than a lot of the com comparable models on the market. Uh, and we we price them properly. We uh, we have. Um, uh, from Vietnam with the um, market um, with the labor cost very low and we um, have put together a good supply chain so we believe that we are on the path um, to profitability. Now although VinFast is selling vehicles as we speak this sort of spike reminds me of Rivian when they went public 
a couple of years back. Back in November of 2021, and the shot and the stock shot up almost 100%, only to eventually fall over 90%. So if you're looking to get into VinFast, don't chase price. Pre market right now, price is off roughly $6. If you're looking to get long, um, Look for price to pull back to the 20, 22, 50 area. Thanks for watching. Subscribe. Please like the video.